friends, it's Monday, and I got a haircut. Yay! Um, I'm trying to grow my hair out, but it kind of stopped growing, so I had my sister trim it today. And also, I got my sweatshirt back from her, the cute one, three-fourths length. Yay! I was, like, really excited about it because, um, I've wanted it back for a really long time, and she had it forever, and I couldn't get her to give it to me. Let's go through the list. Janine, you didn't post your video on Tuesday like you were supposed to, um, so we're going to try to be kind of nice to you, but since you didn't post your video, what we decided is that it's not really a punishment so much as a challenge. We want you to put someone else in your video. So whether that be Chris, because I know he's home, maybe he'll say hi to us. Um, and hi Chris, if you're watching this, um, I'm glad you're home, and I hope you have a good time while you're back. So, um, Janine, you can have either Chris can be in your video and he can come say hi to us, which would be nice because we know him, or you can introduce us to one of your friends there. Danica, thanks for explaining the print thing to me. I totally get it now. It just didn't make sense at first. I, I don't know. I, I guess I didn't understand that, like, you put it on glass or anything to, like, squeegee it. I just assumed that, like, you were making copies of your painting. I don't know. I, I get it now, though, so thanks. Kayla, your video was so awesome, like, even though you didn't really talk that much and stuff, which, don't get me wrong, I love hearing you talk and, you know, what's going on and stuff, but it was just really funny to hear you, um, like, just to see all that stuff, and, um, it just made me laugh through the whole thing, I was laughing, so, that was entertaining. Kelly, your question was if, our preference for if we could choose to wear shoes or not wear shoes, which would we pick? If I lived somewhere where I didn't have to wear shoes, that's totally what I would choose. I would totally be barefoot. Like, most of the time, even now, I'm barefoot because, like, I work in the baby room and we don't wear shoes in there. So, basically, all day, I'm not wearing shoes unless I'm outside anyways. So, I definitely would choose that. Um, I definitely like to do that. And, Kelly, you're the only one this last week who answered my question. No one else did. Everyone else, I kind of felt invisible this week. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, because no one else answered my question. I asked you guys what you were doing for Halloween and, you know, what you are going to dress up as, what you are going to do, and Kelly was the only one who answered. So, I didn't know what I was going to do either. I was thinking about doing that whole NaNoWriMo thing, but I think instead me and my mom are going to throw a Halloween party at our house, and I've already decided what I'm going to be, so I'm really excited. I'm going to be a um, zombie bride. Threadbangers, they, like, showed you how to make a wedding dress, so I'm going to sew the dress and it should be really cute and then you know I have um, leftover makeup from one of your vampires and I'm gonna put that on and then like put blood on my face and stuff and do my hair like super crazy and eye makeup and it's gonna be a lot of fun I'm helping plan a party which is always lots of fun I love a reason to dress up and I definitely love a reason to um, you know get together and hang out with people it's probably mostly gonna be my mom's friends but it should be fun um, Kayla I don't know you're probably doing something with your floor but if you're not you're invited to come and uh, Callie and Danica too, and Janine you would be if you were here. Um, you guys are all invited, but I'm pretty sure the only one who would even be close to coming is Kayla, so um, if you want to, you can come hang out for a while. So yeah, to do my whole like zombie bride thing, um, since I got my um, sewing machine, I haven't made anything yet, and so this is kind of going to be my first project, but in order to do it, because it's like a, um, it's a strapless dress, I have to have one of those like mannequins that you use so I can like pin the dress and I don't have one and I didn't want to buy one because they're expensive so I like saw a tutorial on how to make them yourself so I'm like making my own and I'll kind of I'll show it to you right like what it looks like right now <laughs> it's kind of funny um yeah that's what it's like so far it's made out of duct tape and then you just like stuff it and put it on a stand so um it was kind of funny today I went over to my mom's house and they, um, my sister cut my hair and then I, like, put on this old, like, band shirt and had her, like, wrap me in duct tape, <laughs> like, three layers to where I, like, almost couldn't breathe. <laughs> so it was kind of hilarious. I don't know. It's kind of funny. The things you ask people to do for you, that's for sure. I am not going to pose a new question this week because, um, you guys didn't answer my one last week. So you need to do that. Answer my question. What are you being for Halloween? What are you doing? And even if you don't know, it's okay to say you don't know and then tell me later. Whatever. But 
just acknowledge that I asked you a question. Between us friends, I am really, really not excited that I have to be at work at 7.30 tomorrow morning. Normally on Mondays I don't have to work till 8.15, but because someone else had their schedule changed, I have to take the threes class and work at 7.30. And I'm like wide awake, so I'm gonna have to work on getting into the sleeping mode so I'm not like uberly tired tomorrow morning. Ugh. Love you guys.